Lead Left Vodcast for the week of June 22nd. I'm Randy Schwimmer. Welcome back. Healthcare has been ground zero for the worst pandemic of the modern era. How the industry has reacted and how credit and equity providers are dealing with this new world order is the subject of our new special series. Physician practice management companies were the first and worst hit, one banker reported. Procedure volume dropped precipitously with COVID. One anesthesia practice that serves surgery centers and hospitals saw EBITDA go from 100 million to zero. Most of these orthopedic, cardio, and GI procedures were elective. It's a great franchise, he said. They haven't lost a single doctor. Procedures now appear to be rebounding. EBITDA has only begun to lift, but lenders believe a recovery is inevitable. Interestingly, the business was purchased in the teeth of COVID, so the sponsor was able to buy it on the cheap. As ugly as things look right now, investors are taking the long view, so lenders are willing to stand behind them. What about new M&A deals? Private equity behavior is evolving, he said. We've had constructive conversations about new opportunities. We've stayed away from things like urgent care facilities. A lot depends on the risks of secondary outbreaks and the development of new safety protocols. It's also next to impossible to do a nursing home deal today. Home health and hospice, on the other hand, hasn't seen as much of a fall off. It's nurse going to your house, pretty simple. Same with specialty infusion, a combination of pharma and nursing. That's seen only a slight drop. Some media criticize private equity for over-leveraging healthcare properties. I've seen that, he said, but those stories don't include any data comparing the clinical outcomes of sponsor-owned versus non-sponsor-owned companies. Sharing risks and rewards is a good thing, but it's also subject to appropriate oversight and management. Next week, how will the patient-doctor relationship change post-COVID. Reporting from the waiting room at the lead left, this is Randy Schwimmer wishing you and your families a safe and healthy week.